Hello, my name is Avery Hurley and I'm a pool manager here at Indian Trails. Welcome to this week's Trivia Tuesday. For our topic this week, we'll be going over CPR. What actions do you perform before going into CPR? Um. You make sure they have any, check their wallet if they are a donor. Um, and so ask someone to call 911 uh, and make sure that the person is breathing or not breathing. So yeah, that's what I know. You check to see if the person is breathing and if they have a pulse. Before going into CPR, you will perform a primary assessment. A primary assessment is when you're checking for breathing and pulse. How long should you check for breathing and pulse? Say five seconds. I'm gonna go with 15 seconds. While during a primary assessment, you should be checking for breathing and pulse for at least five seconds, at most 10 seconds. When are the five times that you should stop doing CPR? At the doctor's office, maybe? At the hospital? When paramedics come and they've taken over, that's one I know. Um, when somebody starts breathing, um, when you stop, when somebody show, like 911 shows up, um, they're vomiting. I don't know, does that count? So when they when they start breathing, I don't know. That's a good question. The five reasons to stop CPR is AD analyzing. Steam becomes unsafe, EMS arrives, you're too tired to continue, or signs of life. What is this for? Uh, I don't know. CPR, maybe? Do they breathe through it? This can just give them, I, just give them air. Um, I know this is a breathing apparatus because I can see that. So. I think nowadays you don't breathe in their mouth, you, yes. I don't know, no, even know if you do that, you just pump. Yep, so you kind of just squeeze it, it. You just squeeze it? Yep. Fully? Just like that. Wow, okay. This is a BVM. Yeah. This is used to give breath to victims. Perform CPR. Okay, do I just do it? <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's Trivia Tuesday. We'll see you next week.